Good evening. Consider this. If you live to be 80 years old, you'll experience approximately 29,200 days. Live to be 90, and that number increases to about 32,850. Now many of those days will be forgotten, but some of them you'll remember for the rest of your life. And today is one of those days. You will never forget the joy of putting on your cap and gown, nor will you forget the butterflies that you felt when you headed into this beautiful hall. You will always remember searching excitedly for your family and your friends and seeing those looks of pride on their faces. You will also never forget hearing your name called and walking across this stage to receive your certificate or your degree and for those of you receiving your master's degrees this evening, you will never forget the feeling of being hooded. Now you will also have some very tangible items to keep these memories alive, namely the certificate or the degree itself, but also the many photos, many, many photos, that will capture these moments for posterity. As the representative for the faculty of the CUNY School of Professional Studies, I'd like to offer you three other things that I hope you'll remember long after this day is over. The first is that hard work and luck are not the same thing. And too often I have heard students say that they are lucky that they got a paper in on time. You're nodding, yes. Um, or they're lucky that they received a good grade. And I think that what students sometimes mean is that they feel fortunate. And it is important to live a life filled with gratitude. But I would caution you against thinking or even feeling that luck played a role in your accomplishments. Because luck removes your hard work and your agency from the process. For those of you that attended classes in person, remember that it was you that made it to each class session despite all of the other things that worked to keep you away. And for those of you who completed your courses online, it was you that logged onto your course sites at least three to four times a week. At least three, four, four times a week, right? Okay. <laughs> it was all of you that completed your assignments, your projects, your readings, your discussion or your discussion board posts, your exams. You did that. And you should never rob yourself of rightfully earned accolades. It wasn't luck. It was you. The second thing to remember is to be mindful of comparisons. No matter where you go, there will probably be someone there that is funnier than you, more interesting than you, maybe more dynamic than you, maybe even smarter than you. But so what? In social psychology, we talk about this in terms of social comparisons. And there are upward comparisons and downward comparisons, but I like to think about them more as forward and backward comparisons. After all, other people are not above you, but they may be ahead of you in terms of where you want to be. At any rate, the suggestion is that if we make these upward comparisons, we'll feel worse about ourselves. And if you make downward comparisons, you'll feel better. But that's not to say that there aren't advantages to making upward comparisons. In doing so, we push to achieve more and to be better versions of ourselves. And we live in a world that is constantly focused on the future, the next big thing, the best in the room. But a very wise man once told me that it is just as important, if not more so, to occasionally look behind you. Not only are we reminded of how far we've come, but we're reminded to be grateful about where we've been. By glancing backward every once in a while, you will also be reminded that there are a lot of people for whom you are the forward comparison. The third thing to remember is that this is not the end of your educational journey. 
And even though this is commencement, which means the beginning, it's not really the beginning either. It's more like the middle. You've already been hard at work for many years, learning and growing, and this is a wonderful milestone in your life's trajectory. But it is critical to keep challenging yourselves and to be lifelong learners. Try new things. Stay open and curious. Stay critical. Stay affected. Set new goals for yourselves and work tirelessly to achieve them. Along the same vein, I would challenge you to look for the learning in all that you do, because there really is learning in everything if we just look for it. Many months ago, I challenged myself to tackle some of the classic books that I had somehow managed to get through high school and college without reading. And I started with The Catcher in the Rye. It was a bad idea. Um, <laughs> by about page 10, I realized that I didn't like it much. And in fact, I didn't like it at all. And that opinion didn't change by page 50, or page 100, or even page 150. But I kept reading it. And I'm glad that I did. Because about 20 pages from the end of the book, Holden Caulfield, the main character, visits Mr. Antolini, his former teacher. And Mr. Antolini says to him this about education. Something else an academic education will do for you. If you go along with it any considerable distance, it'll begin to give you an idea what size mind you have, what it'll fit, maybe what it won't. And after a while, you'll have an idea what kind of thoughts your particular size mind should be wearing. For one thing, it'll save you an extraordinary amount of time trying on ideas that don't suit you, aren't becoming on you. You'll begin to know your true measurement and dress your mind accordingly. It is our hope for you, class of 2016, that as you move on from SBS, that you build on what you've learned here. You continue to try on new thoughts and new ideas, and that you dress your minds accordingly. Thank you, and congratulations. <laughs>